the most versatile, explosive action hero around? <laughs> yeah, that's a tough question. Badass. I mean, he isn't really a good guy, is he? We are focusing a little bit more on Rico this time around to show him his, his personality. Um, that's sort of been hidden in, in the first two games. Rico is really a guy who can be super, super evil and a not very pleasant person. And he can be a really nice guy, but it, that's all up to the player. I want to say he's a, he's a badass, angry, um, crazy, uh, you know, anti-hero-ish sort of, but um, he wants to do the right thing, but he has crazy ways of doing it. And so for us in this project, specifically Rico is the uh, the savior coming back to retake his home. We took Rico from where he was and we wanted to do a progression of the story. What would Rico do that would be after what happened at Pinal? And so we kind of brought him home. Or in the first game he was more of a mumbling idiot. And we did that deliberately actually. Uh, we, we, we did want to tone down his, his persona and, and let the world be the character. And that's sort of been the character of, of the Just Cause games uh, until now. He's gotten older. He's you know, got his scars from all his years in Pinal and San Espirito, and you know, we wanted to give him that background. What would it be like if you were a person who had set off a nuke twice? <laughs> Seems a pretty intense thing for a single person to have done, uh, freeing a nation from a dictator. That's, that's our core development with Enrico, is to give him that real grounding. We looked at Rico, obviously we did all the graphic stuff that we wanted to do we improved the amount of triangles that we use for him, the number of poly count and uh, updated everything from his hair to his beard to his outfit and you know all the little things that we can animate on him. We probably have over 2,500 animations now for a single character but he's a complex character. He can do anything anytime and we wanted to ensure that responsiveness was still a part of that. I pull the trigger, I'm always shooting, no matter what state I'm in. What it means is you get this perfectly fluid experience through the world. We definitely wanted to bring a sense of groundedness and physicality to Rico. We wanted to give him real weight in what he was doing um, in terms of the animation tech that we developed and also the animations. And we're using real motion capture now, which was really uh, a big step up. Uh, in terms of the projects, but what we didn't want to lose was the responsiveness. We didn't want to lose his ability to um, do things quickly, move quickly, uh, and so it was a big challenge to try to use really high fidelity animation and, and motion capture, but still kind of keep it true to the responsiveness that the fans really care about. The first thing that we did was we took a look at Just Cause 2, saw what was really strong, the grappling, the parachute, all that type of stuff retain what was really, really cool and core about them, and then try to figure out, okay, where are our holes now, right? And what we determined is that the wingsuit was a great opportunity for us, right? There's about a million different ways that you could do a wingsuit in a game, but what we had to figure out is, how do we get that working really well with the existing mechanics that we have? Just like you could slingshot your way through the world with the grappling hook and the parachute in JC2, you can still use the grappling hook while you're in the wingsuit. So this is a more fast-paced state for Rico. You can use your grapple to grapple anything in the world, change your direction, go underneath tunnels, between buses, I mean, pretty much anything. I'm not sure there's a crisp verbal explanation of why it's so great to use the wingsuit, but it's one of those things where I think once you hold it in your hands and you kind of have this mental mapping of, oh, it's generally going forward and being able to mix that together, kind of creating velocity and being able to use those velocities to create a parachute that has a nice little sequence. All that stuff just works really nicely together. That was just a bunch of hundreds of iterations on the wingsuit and parachute and all that stuff, that stuff together. The parachute now allows us to shoot every weapon and transition out of it, reel back in out of it, but gives Rico a whole nother tool set for combat. The game gets easier when you do crazier things. We upgraded his grapple hook, so the grapple hook looks cool and sleek and has a bit more of a modern feel to it. We also have some cool stuff for the uh, dual tether, right, with a grappling hook where you get to kind of tether things together. First, we took a lot of inspiration from the modding community. We let you have more tethers, and it turns out they're absolutely right, like they usually are. 
and it is more fun to be able to have more than one tether. One of the things we wanted to make sure was moving around the world in a very vertical world uh, in this playground had to be amusing. And a lot, of, a lot of games do an open world, but then it can be a little tedious and after a while you just start jumping around using fast travel. We wanted to try to create an experience where just moving to the other position was fun. That piece of picking up a controller and just having an enormous amount of fun is why we're all in this business to start with.